In this short video, I want to demonstrate how to measure the noise figure of an amplifier. Before doing this measurement, you have to do a level calibration of the tiny SA. And I'm assuming that that's already done. So now we go to the measure menu, more and noise figure. And you see four submenus, and these four submenus takes you to the four steps of the measurement. To measure the noise figure of the tiny SA itself, because it has to be removed from the noise it sees from the amplifier, you have to connect a 50 ohm load to the input of the tiny SA. And this is because the noise generated in the low noise amplifier of the tiny SA depends on the impedance it sees at its input. So it's crucial that you have this 50 ohm load at the input. So the first step is to activate the noise figure measurement of the tiny SA itself. And there you have to specify for what, which frequency you want to do the measurement. And I'm specifying 100 megahertz. You see the tiny SA moves to 100 megahertz. And it starts to measure the noise figure of the tiny SA. Here you see the number as measured on the top of the display. Once this has stabilized, you can store the measured number by activating the store menu. And then automatically the next step is activated and that's the validation. And that's to double check if the stored number is correct. And what it basically does, it measures the noise figure of the, the noise level at the input of the tiny SA. And then it subtracts its own noise figure and that should lead to a noise figure error of zero. And you see here that the error is almost zero. So that's good. The next step is to remove the load and then connect the amplifier to be measured. It's very important that the gain of this amplifier is measured before we start to do this measurement um, as the gain has a big impact on the measurement. At the input of the amplifier, we do connect the 50 ohm load, because also the amplifier to be measured, the noise of that amplifier depends on the input impedance at C. So we go back to the tiny SA, and we activate the next step, measure amplifier noise figure. Now you have to enter the gain of the amplifier. I've measured that previously, 11.7 dB. And the measurement is now done at the frequency that was previously specified, 100 megahertz. And here you see the noise figure of the amplifier being measured. The gain as was specified was 11.7 dB and the noise figure measured by the tiny SA is calculated to 3.7 dB. I can do a quick demonstration to show you that the noise coming from the amplifier depends on the input impedance it see. So we go back to the amplifier and we remove the load. And now we reactivate the noise figure measurement of the amplifier, 0.7. And now you see that the noise figure is much different. This, of course, is not a usable number because this is the noise coming from the amplifier when you have a big mismatch in the impedance between the impedance at its input and the input impedance of the amplifier, so you cannot use this. It's purely to demonstrate that the noise differs when you have a different input impedance. I hope this short video has given you some insight on how to noise, use the noise figure measurement menu. And uh, I wish you good luck with your own measurements.